we're going to continue activity one where we look at properties of quadrilaterals and we come up with some sort of like proof statements just so we're aware this is directly related to our learning goals for our lesson and so one of learning goals is prove the properties of a parallelogram, a rhombus, a rectangle, a square, a trapezoid, and a kite. We're focusing on properties of parallelogram right now. And it's also related to the work that was done on page 420, where we really try to put the characteristics into this flowchart diagram of what's happening. Let's continue on, all right? In this video, this lesson, we're talking like, like last one, 401, was about how opposite sides are congruent. But there's also this criteria for parallelograms that opposite angles are congruent, and we're gonna prove that right now. Which additional angles do you need to show congruent to prove that opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent? Well, I mean, what parallelogram are we talking about? I guess we're still talking about PARG. Of course, stop the video at any time and scan and write. Um, but to show that opposite angles are congruent, I would, I would need to show these are the angles that are actually the ones that are congruent. The angle here, angle A, known by RAP, and angle G, known as PGR, that those two angles are congruent. And so in order to show that, there's some conditions that need to be met. Uh, the other two angles that are related are the opposite angles, APG, so highlight APG, there we go, and also GRA, 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 this one. All right, so those are the two angles. In order, we've already done this in page 401 notes. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. We already proved that uh, triangle PGR is congruent to triangle RAP. That's the two-column proof on the previous page. So that means that we get angle PGR and angle RAP are congruent by corresponding parts of congruent triangles being congruent. However, to prove the other pair of angles, we need to actually prove that uh, the triangles they're associated with, uh, triangle GRA and triangle APG, that those are actually congruent first, just like we did in the previous one. But with a little twist, we're going to focus on the other letters, to focus on the other side. Let's take a look. We're going to focus on this triangle. We're going to focus on proving, there's two right here, right? So two, 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 two. We're going to focus on proving that uh, triangle GPA, which I guess I wrote as APG, is congruent to triangle ARG, which I wrote as GRA, right? So ARG versus GRA. It's just a matter of which letters you're going to prioritize. Now, so here it is. This triangle, ARG, and this triangle, GPA. Let's start with some things that we know. Okay, let me get my face out of the way. Let's go to the two column proof. Let's start with some things we know. We know because of what's happened here that in a parallelogram, opposite sides, boom, boom, and opposite sides, boom, boom, they are congruent. And I suppose I should even add some markers just to help clarify. Arrow one, arrow two, arrow two, arrow two. Okay? Those are parallel because of the definition of what a parallelogram is. And also, this line, I started writing PR. I didn't write PR. I meant AG. AG is uh, this transversal that actually ends up creating, see one marker and one marker, those angles, AGR and GAP. And then two markers, right? These over here, these two markers, that's um, AP, AGP and GAR, these two and these two. Those are congruent, or not congruent, they're just there. They're just there. They're given by the diagram and the fact that a diagonal was used to create them. But because that happened, because that happened, we get to say that they're actually making equalities or congruences. Alternate interior angles are congruent. These are the pair of angles that are congruent because they're alternate interior angles. When two parallel lines are crossed by a transversal, they create alternate parallel, alternate interior angles that are congruent. Same thing, AGP and GAR are congruent. And then just like in the previous page, the previous lesson there, the reflexive property lets us say that this line that is shared by both triangles, both triangles have this line in common, so it's therefore congruent to itself. And anytime things are congruent to themselves, we're just going to use the reflexive property. Hey, guess what? That lines up an angle side angle congruence theorem. So therefore, the triangles are congruent because they are congruent through angle, side, angle, congruence. And if the triangles are congruent, then the parts are congruent. There it is, that's the whole proof, you guys. That lets us know that these are a pair of opposite angles that are congruent. Proof is done. 
that lets us know that um, it was also true of the other pair of angles along the way. And so there you have it. We have opposite angles in a parallelogram. That is it. That is page 402. Next up is page 403 as we continue our journey on talking about the properties of quadrilaterals. Thanks for watching. Check in on the next video. See you later.